What's going on, guys? It's Jared Genesis here. So, <laughs> cheers to all my empaths out there who have to deal with stupid bullshit like blessing blockers. Uh, I've dealt with many blessing blockers in my life. And mind you, it's not just people. Like, it's other stuff, too. Satan will do everything he can to send stupid shit your way. <laughs> Trust and believe. But the thing is, as you get older, you, you get to understand every trick in his little book, if you even want to call it that. I mean, Satan is an idiot. Like, he really has nothing other than female mind games. He is a... Um, <laughs> I don't want to use words that'll get me in trouble, but, you know. It rhymes with uh, Baggett. <laughs> That's basically what the devil is, okay? He's not someone to be afraid of. He, he's not a, a demon with horns. He's not. Uh, he was once an angel. He's just a little triggly puff because he got thrown from heaven, you know, um, rejected because of the Adam and Eve stuff or whatever. But anyways, I digress. Um, can you tell I don't like the devil? I really don't. But, you know, I love pissing Lucifer off, or as I like to call him, Lucifag. <laughs> and a great way to piss him off is to keep faith in God. Always, guys. Because listen to me, dude. As a Christian, as a true man of God, you will suffer in this world. God will put tests before you to see if you're worthy of the kingdom of God. You know, just like... Not that religion is a gang, but like, just like, you know, a, uh, a gangbang, you know, whatever, call, crips, <laughs> this is not the best example, but they will test to see if you're worthy by, well, <laughs> they, they usually knock the crap out of you, you know, to see if you got what it takes. And if you go crying to your mama, you know, you're not going to be part of their gang. It, it's basically the same thing. God wants to see if you have what it takes to be his follower. And uh, God put a test before me about five years ago by taking away my internet. Because he knew this was something that was very dear to me. And he wanted to see, you know, okay, you going to follow the world or are you going to follow me? Because I could have left home. I could have started on my own, you know. But I chose not to do that because I knew in the end that would just cause me more problems. I stayed faith, you know, I stayed true to God, I kept faith, and, uh, you know, I know blessings are on the way, and uh, it's been great just to see my haters suffer. I mean, that, that's a really, that really, to me, is my greatest reward, is to watch my little bitch haters suffer, bro. That means more to me than any other blessing, because I, I hate weak people, I do. People who think that other people owe them something. Who think that they can bully people just to help themselves. I hate people like that. And I love to watch them suffer. And if that makes me, you know, unchristian, that's totally fine with me, bro. Because I'm not religious anyway. You know what I mean? Following Jesus is not religion. That's just man-made bullshit. Um, Jesus was not about that, you know. He, he was not about the church. And that's something a lot of you guys need to understand, too. But my point is simply this, guys. Stay true on your path. The blessings will come. It may seem like it's barren, you know, like with the book of Job and how Job lost his whole family and, you know, suffered droughts. But he kept his faith in God and he was blessed. So to those of you practicing manifestation and things like that, listen, man, okay, I don't care what some of these new age retards tell you. Sometimes it takes years. Sometimes it does to manifest the things you want because God will put tests in front of you. This is something you're not going to hear from these, you know, F-A-G-G-O-T's, okay? These, these people who don't know how to suffer. You're not going to hear that from them because they're not true men of God. They're not true women of God. In order to be a true man of God, you have to suffer in this world. Like I said, he will put tests in front of you to see if you're worthy for the kingdom. The 144,000, baby. You know, and I see that number a lot now. God shows me that number often because he wants me to know that now I'm a true soldier of God for my suffering. He wants me to know that. And it's the greatest honor. 
I really can't even explain what an honor that is. Um, <clears throat> I see a lot of, you know, 222, 333s, 444s. These are also signs from God that you're on the right path. Numerology, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's not aliens, okay? <laughs> Nikola Tesla, you're wrong there, buddy. That's God speaking to you, bro. So some of you atheists need to wake the hell up and realize that. But um, not that God really talks to them. <laughs> but anyways, guys, listen, man. Keep walking your path. Keep practicing manifestation. And you will get the things your heart desires. Okay? But do not leave. Do not turn tail and run from your objectives in life. Okay? You have to stay true to your path. Do not... Yeah. I'm trying to think of the best way to say this. But if God put a challenge before you... Do not leave that challenge just so you think, okay, well, I'll have no drama, so now my manifestations will work great. It's not like that, dude. If you do that, you've, you've lost with God, okay? Your future is going to be hellfire. If you turn away from God like that, you may enjoy, you know, things on this earth, but you will no longer be part of God's kingdom. What do you want? You know, a life full of toys for 80 years or eternity? Bliss, you know, everything your heart desires. Because God will give you a new body in heaven. It's not just going to be you floating around. It's, it's going to be like this. God will give you, it says in the Bible, I will give you a new body. And you will enjoy the same things that you've enjoyed in this world. But it will be a thousand times better. And the best thing about heaven is there will be no fuckboys. There will be no haters. Okay, I'm just going to say it bluntly. Those people will be rotting in hell because they sold out. Because they were quitters. Okay? I have a family member who never tried in their life. This individual loves to blame Donald Trump for his problems. <laughs> because he never chose to better himself. He's found himself a nice little scapegoat. You know, don't be like that person, bro. Don't be a quitter. Don't be a crab in a bucket, you know, blaming other people, trying to bring people down to bring yourself up. Stay true to God's plan. Your blessings will not come Im immediately, but they will come when the time is ready for you, okay? When you have... I'll just end the video saying this. Um... When you have a strong relationship with your creator, that is the best gift. When you have that intimate relationship, that connection to the Most High, you have won this life. You've won, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you beat the game. Like the, you know, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild or whatever. You know, you beat it, bro. You're you're just basically now waiting for the next game, game in heaven, because this life is a game. I understand that it's a simulation, but you need to realize it is a simulation that was created by the Most High. It was created by something. It did not just come from nothing. That's bullshit. Everything that you see, it was put in you. It was put in your consciousness. Okay, the creator made it to where, yes, this life is a video game for you. But don't be an idiot and fail. Okay, don't get a game over, dude. Alright? I'm telling you, there, there is, you know, another life after this one, bro. Okay, this simulation or whatever, this is not the real deal. God put us here for a reason. Okay, um... When you sleep, when you dream, that that's real life. You know, that's why you have to train your subconscious to dream of good things. That's why you have to meditate because when you meditate, when you when you practice positive thinking, when you go to sleep, your your brain will remain in that state. If you don't have a positive mindset, and you go to sleep, your subconsciousness is going to stay stuck in the negative. You will not be connected, you know, to the divine you will not attract you know like with manifestation you will not attract positive things in your life 
because you, you have to rely. I've been studying this. I've been uh, that Elmer guy. I forget his name. Um, I, yeah, uh, I'll leave a link to his channel, but or just ask me because <laughs> I've linked it before. Just ask me if you want to know who it is. Um, when you're in your dream state, that is, that's where all the magic happens. Okay, guys, you know that's why you. You can't let negativity run you. When you, when you start overthinking, over analyzing, you're going to be in, you know, what I would call like survival mode. When you're in survival mode, you're constantly analyzing, you know, you're, you're thinking of ways to get out of this bad situation you're in, but you just have to have faith in God. <coughs> And this is something that we all struggle with too. Okay, trust and believe. I was, you know, my three-year break, <laughs> I was spending a lot of time in my head analyzing, like, why did this happen to me, you know? <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Oh, having a little bit of acid reflux here. <laughs> Goddamn, this non-organic meat it's full of so much grease good lord mm. okay we're good sorry about that guys had some ground turkey earlier <laughs> had quite a bit actually but um yeah my point is this guys yeah i i question things a lot in my three-year break you know i was analyzing but I should have just left it to God and because of that I, I probably did slow down my manifestations my blessings you know that are coming to me <clears throat> but see here's the cool thing when you're a child you naturally sort of manifest you know what I mean because you, you don't overanalyze you're not necessarily negative some children are unfortunately you know if you're brought in a bad situation but for the most part children are pretty positive people and so they they know how to do this manifestation on their own they, they don't need neville goddard to tell them you know what i mean <laughs> it's it's pretty remarkable you know what i mean uh, for the most part anyway but <clears throat> being positive having faith that is the greatest way to manifest things into your life the dream state that to me is is real life you know when, when your soul leaves your body because that's what happens when you're sleeping it's just like dying your soul temporarily leaves it, it explores different realms and then it comes back you know and the reason why you forget a lot is because it comes back so fast it actually uh, makes you unconscious that's basically what I've learned from Michael Monk anyways uh, shout outs to Michael Monk he is a energy master that I like to watch on YouTube but you know, you guys can laugh at me for saying that if you want, but it, it really does make perfect sense if you think about it. Like, this world, <laughs> like, you, you can't tell me this is real, bro. This this stupid world. I'm sorry, but it is. This, this world is quite stupid. But it's humans that made it that way. God didn't make it that way. He gave us the simulation as a test. I, be, I believe that's what it is. I believe we're in the simulation because our ancestors fucked up. <laughs> That's just what I believe. Uh, you know, uh, some people say there's nothing beyond the simulation. I don't believe that. You have no way of knowing that anyway, bro. Like, for some of you guys who say that, you don't know that. <laughs> How can you say that with a straight face when there's no way you can prove that? Okay. To say that this is the only thing, no, bro. Like, I just, I don't believe that. I, I think that we are here, you know, God is testing us. But God also wants to bless us in this life. That's the thing. So in order to get blessed by God, you have to have faith, guys. Don't get stuck in survival mode and fight or flight. You know, you have to remain positive. Understand that God is a more powerful force than we'll ever know. And he is helping you in ways that you'll never know. And that is why you must also have faith if bad things happen to you or people that you love. Because it's always for a greater good, you know. 
If you're someone who's on the path of God, it's it's always for a greater good. You have to believe that. Um, so that's pretty much what I got for you guys today. Sometimes blessings don't come as fast as you want, but that's just how it goes, bro. You know, that's the way of following God's path. Do not listen to these new age retards. These are the kinds of people who will rot in hell for, you know, thinking, oh, well, if you want to change things, you can just change it right now. No, it doesn't work that way, dude. Not for me anyway, not for someone who wants to follow God's plan. Sometimes you have to suffer in this life, guys. You know, and I'm sorry to be so blunt about it. I wish it wasn't that way, but that's just the way it is, dude. So, blessings to all you guys. I hope you all get what you want in this life. You know, even to my haters, I, I hope you guys can change. I hope your hearts can change one day and that you can open yourself up to God and that he will bless you because I know my blessings are coming and it may not seem that way, but I understand that some things just take time. Uh, I was born in a situation where I had a lot of blessing blockers in my life, but again, it wasn't just people. But when you're in that situation, you just have to learn to navigate out of it, bro. Like you got to learn to, you know what I mean? Um, it's uh, <laughs> It puts the video game on very hard mode. We'll just say that. But I will tell you guys this. If you're someone who's dealt with a lot of shit in your life, I know your blessings will come twice as strong. Trust and believe. If you're someone who's really suffered in this world like I have, you know what I mean? I, I know that God wants to bless you even harder for that. So understand that when your blessings do come, they will come in a way that you've never imagined. And I believe in my heart that, you know, I'm about to get my come up. Uh, I'm going to get everything my heart desires. It's just God had to take care of a few things. <laughs> that's That's basically all it is. God had to do a little bit of spring cleaning in my life. And just to test me, too, to see if I'm worthy of the kingdom of heaven, you know. Um, and I, be I believe, you know, with all humbleness that I did pass that test. Because I care about God more than anything. More than any stupid toys that will eventually rust and decay. I care about having a good relationship with God. So, God bless you guys for watching. I, I hope that you get what you want in this simulation. But understand there is more to it than this. Um, when you die, God will give you a new body. And that's when the party really starts. So don't miss out on that party, bro. You know, if I could quote ICP, the Insane Clown Parsi, you know, don't miss out on Shangri-La, dude. That's, that's why they made those Joker cards. You know, all those albums. Shaggy... Uh, and um, what's his name, uh, Violent J, they said it themselves, it was to keep people from going to hell. <laughs> That's what they say, and I believe them. I want you guys to go to the party in heaven. I do. I don't want you to ride in hell. I don't want you to have that taken away. Okay, again, ask yourself, what's more important, 80 or 90 years, if you're lucky, of you know, good times and having what you want? or an eternity of bliss, what's more important to you? If you wanna just have your 80 years, go ahead, but you're not gonna like what happens to you in the afterlife, I can promise you that, bro. Just being real, I know hell exists, and I know that the people who have tormented me in my life will go there if they do not change their ways. Um, hell, I mean, heaven is, is not a place for wicked. They will not, you know, <laughs> they're not going to be, you know, I, I, hate to, I hate to say it like this, but, you know, your soul will be too dirty to enter. Like, it's just, it wasn't made for that. Heaven is, it's pure. Like, it's completely pure, bro, in a way that I probably can't even imagine. So... There is a hell. I know there is. Don't go there, guys. You don't want to go there. It sucks. It's not a party. I don't care what some of these stupid rock stars say, like Iron Maiden. You know, hell ain't a bad place. Hell is from here to eternity. 
you're you're gonna be sadly disappointed, Mr. Guy. Okay, Mr. Iron Maiden guy. You know, I, I hope you enjoyed all your money and your women in this life because your soul is gonna rot and you're gonna be miserable, dude, forever. So don't end up like that guy that hell ain't a bad play. <laughs> You're gonna get fucked for eternity. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.